Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to start with the question number 36 until number 50. Okay, let's start right away. The question number 36. There is a fixed point on a plane and there is a moving point. Okay, which keeps the same distance from the fixed point. It is the very definition of what? Circle. Right? So which of the following statement is true? A. The point has a parallel motion circular motion, right? The two points are in the same straight line. No. C. The two points are in a unit circle whose center is the origin and the radius is equal to 1. Um, yeah, it can be, right? It can be. Why is it true? Because uh, this, this was the very definition of the circle, but we don't know this part, whose, or, whose center is the, the origin and the radius is equal to 1. This is uh, unverified, right? So let's just leave, leave it here, okay? So let's say um, triangle. D, the two points are on the same circle. The two points are on the same circle. Nope. The two points draw a circle whose radius is the same with the distance between the two points, right? E is correct, right? C was half correct, right? Not a unit circle. Unit is wrong, right, actually. So uh, the, the only answer choice, the best answer cho choice is E. The two points draw a circle whose radius is the same with distance between the two points, right? Okay, uh, number 37. Number 37 says, the length, width, and the height of a rectangular solid is 3, 5, 2 resp respectively. What is the length of the longest side, longest line segment? Whose endpoints are the two vertices of this, this solid? Okay. We've covered this uh, question before. In this rectangular solid, The longest line segment, which we can draw, is from one vertex to the other vertex, right? From one to the other end, right? And how do you find out the length of here? How do you find out? When we are given the length, width, and height of a rectangular solid, solid then the length of the longest line segment is square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared, right? You should be familiar with this formula, right? So respectively, in this case, it is, we're given 3, 5, and 2. So 3 squared plus 5 squared plus 2 squared, right? This will give us, it is equal to 6.16. Therefore, among our answer choices, 6.16b is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to number 38. 38 says, what is the amplitude of the y is equal to minus x sine square x plus 4? So, have you learned anything about sine square x? We got to convert this to the co uh, cosine or the sine x, right? Not the square x, because we don't know about the amplitude of the sine square x, right? So, using a double angle formula, Uh, sine square x is equal to what? 1 minus cosine 2x over 2, right? So replace this with this. It will be negative 8 times this thing over 2, right? So it will leave us with negative 4 times um, 1 minus cosine 2x plus 4 negative 4, positive 4 cancels out and then negative 4 times negative cosine 2x will be 4 cosine 2x. So uh, well, uh, the amplitude is amplitude is 2 pi over absolute value of b in this case what is it 2? So uh, the amplitude amplitude is no this is we we just figured out the period of this uh, function right the period is pi right but the amplitude is what is the amplitude when we're given like this right here this part is the amplitude when we can figure out with here right 4 4 is 